Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session will be on uh, rotating bodies. So right now on my screen what you are seeing is uh, actually a DVD. So DVD we use our day to day application and this DVD is highest speed is rotated with 4600 rpm and then how the stresses is generating in rotating body. So there are a lot of mechanical structured which rotates and which need to include in the rotation and how much because of centrifugal force and centripetal acceleration how much stresses are generated in a component. So that is the exercise we are going to do today. So I'll just quickly go to the PowerPoint presentation. So today's topic is a rotating mechanical structure. How to handle this structure in Abega standard. So rotating mechanical systems there are a lot of mechanical systems which rotate so you take an example of a wind turbine or a disc brake DVD problem which is the simplest problem we can do it then you have gas turbine fans uh, pumps turbocharger even earth is rotating about itself so there are a lot of problems which need to solve which is a rotating and because of rotation there is a centrifugal force, there is centripetal acceleration and then how to solve these problems uh, in Abaca standard. So that's what actually we are going to do. So just uh, quickly touch the fundamentals on the rotating mechanical systems. So uh, if any body rotate because of its mass and into acceleration the centrifugal force is created. So m is a mass and omega square r is a acceleration which is also called as a centripetal acceleration and uh, the this excellence is required to keep an object on a circular path omega square into r omega is actually a angular speed so it's not linear speed it's angular speed so linear speed divided by radius if you do you can get a angular speed so it will be like a RPS in our case and so this omega square r is acceleration and then the if you calculate multiply by that mass then you get a centrifugal force so that is what actually we are going to do the problem we have taken is a very simple problem but it is an interesting problem once you do this problem you can handle multiple uh, rotating body problems also this problem is uh, you see a DVD disc with this DVD is actually uh, rotated around 4600 rpm and this disc is actually made of three component it have polycarbonate adhesive and the thin aluminium foil now polycarbonate is the ma main structural uh, uh, material here so PC will be this so we are going to take a disc we'll have a polycarbonate now I'll just quickly go back so you require a mass so since you require a mass, we also require a density. Density of polycarbonate is 1.2 e power minus 9 ton per millimeter cube or 1200 kg per meter cube. Now since we are going to use this unit ton millimeter newton second, Young's modulus for polycarbonate is 2350, Poisson's ratio 0.35, tensile yield 60 MPa. There is reason I put a tensile yield here. Because under the rotation, if this disc goes into plasticity, then whatever data you store, it's gone, or music, whatever you have stored, is gone, or you'll see a weird music, a file will lost. So this part should not go into a yield stress. So we are not going to put a plasticity, we are going to put a elastic data. If stresses is more than 60, then you can conclude, okay, this part is going to be a plasticity, and this is a failure for the systems. The circular uh, center uh, inner edge we are going to constrain at the end caster DOF OD is 11, uh, 118 millimeter ID is 36 millimeter and uh, typically polycarbonate I just put one data sheet this is a data sheet for G plastic former G plastic now SABIC so this is what actually we are going to take 1.2 G per cm cube we will take a modulus 2350 yield will put and then we will quickly run it so let's let's start the problem so I'm going to start this in a Avega CA 6.113 so I'll say new I'll just check set working directory okay I set working directory I'll quickly create a part which will be so we'll say DVD it will be 3d deformable shell we are going to revolute it 500 will be approximate size so I'll just create one 
0 comma 0 in center then then I'll just create one more like a 18 comma 0 other point so this will be like a 36 inner diameter it will create and then I'll create 0 comma 5 59 comma 0 so this will be like your 118 diameter so I'll just quickly create a, a line so done it we'll just quickly check dimension how much is dimension so it's 18 perfect then we'll just select this this is 41 okay so we're done that we'll just revolute it so we are going to go 360 degree rotation so we quickly created a disk now we'll create a material property we'll go to property create a material data so it will be polycarbonate uh, density is required because your mass is there then you have elastic data 2350 poisons ratio 0.35 okay this means you create a thickness which is 1.2 millimeter so it will be 1.2 you assign this so you have done everything now we'll quickly create an assembly instance so we created a dependent assembly instance we'll quickly mesh it part so we'll give around 2 millimeter then quickly mesh it so we mesh the part now we'll quickly give a boundary condition so we can put some constraint constraint is actually uh, we'll put uh, uh, will inner edge we are going to constrain it so that's what actually will be the our BC so I'll go to BC's create it will be end caster all fix and then you select that edge and you put end caster you done that now we'll create a, a step so create it will be rotating automatic general we'll put NL jump on we'll put initial increment 0 0.01 so since we are putting NL jump on it become a nonlinear geometric problem I'll quickly add a load So it will be centrifugal force. So in mechanical loading, you come rotational body force. You select that. You select the body. Now, now, now it is asking you what is a. So it has to be a rotational force about y-axis. So this is first point then you put 0 comma 1 comma 0 so this will be around y axis then you put angular this will be 4600 rpm so that's it so you see now the arrow what you getting because of body force centrifugal force which is outward direction so we'll quickly create a job so job will be will creating DVD DVD problem continue we'll quickly do a data check if there is any issue we can just solve it in, in terms of preprocessor once it is done we'll just submit for the run so it is submitted for data check so we have to just wait for data check to finish
so data check is completed so we'll submit it for the run so we are submitting it for the run then we'll quickly check the result so it's quick run we done it we'll just go to the results now you can see the the results so we can see the the stresses so how the stresses are generating one mice stress so if you look at a full load so stresses are in 41 so this part is not going into plasticity so there will be no issue for the disc so this was a quick video guys how we can handle the rotating bodies so i hope you like this video don't forget to like us also guys this is a non-profit project so don't forget us to subscribe us so we'll make more videos and take this journey forward thanks bye bye